Good morning YouTube! How are we doing? Are we having a very good day? Because I'm having a very shit one. Just how it should be. So, what are we going to talk about today on this little slice of hell? Well, we are going to talk about viral shit, which could be very interesting. And have I got a story for you? Well, I've got two, but one's kind of shit, one's kind of good. So, let's get straight into it with what's gone viral. You know, with it becoming the end of the year... Google and other places are releasing the biggest and baddest news of what's happened in 2017, such as the most Googled question of 2017. You'll actually be kind of shocked about this. It's basically for hooligans, I reckon. How to start wildfires. Let that sink in a bit there, did you? Good, because that was the plan. So, yeah, wildfires. Wouldn't that just be pure and simply, well, pure and simply for hooligans who want to trash the earth? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, yeah, I'm thinking that it doesn't really take much to know how to start a fire, does it? If you think about it, all you have to do is light a match and then drop it and hope your ass does not get burnt off. Well, that'd be a funny picture of watching somebody's ass just burning off, the full body just remaining intact, and the ass cheeks just, like, melting off their body. Ugh, that's kind of weird, but kind of weird. That's kind of weird. That's just weird in general. Why am I on about that? And as particular... As you could guess, we'll just rephrase it, nobody will know, uh, the most searched topic in the UK and in the United States of America is Hurricane Irma. That's kind of understandable really for being the most searched topic since it was on the news for what felt like five years. Yeah, it felt like five years. It wasn't, obviously. But what else? The word of the year for the United States of Britain is... Youthquake? What the fuck does that mean? Who's actually used the word youthquake? Right, let's defingiba. Uh, that's what I've got written in, written in my notes, at least. Defingiba. I think it means... What does it mean? That's... Uh, noun defingiba. Well, just to say it how I've written it, I guess. Noun defingiba. Significant cu cultural, political, or social arising from actions influenced by the youth. I just want to know what Defingiba means now. Youthquake as well, I want to know what that means, because I've never ever heard anybody actually use that word. So I'm kind of confuzzled. We'll go with confuzzled, I'll just make words up now. Uh, but yeah, I'm fuck. I mean, yeah, I get it that young people are going to have to say, but Youthquake. Y-O-U-T-H-Q-U-A-K-E. That's Oxford, Oxford, Oxfordisms. Youth quake. That doesn't make sense at all. Oxfordisms. Dictionaryism. Words year two thousand seven, two thousand one seven. We're making up words now because that's how it started. So yeah. Meanwhile, why am I going to go and talk about the porn industry or the sex industry, whichever way you look at it? There has been a Justin Bieber sex doll. Well, they say it isn't meant to have anything to do with him. But between me and you, we know it's exactly what it's meant to be. But I've seen pictures of it, surprisingly, when I was going through all the shit that's viral. And, well, I can't actually tell whether it's a female or a male. It's apparently meant to be a sex doll for females, but... To be honest, it looks sort of like a female. So it's for lesbians. How great. Finally coming to terms with that LGBTQRSTABCDEFG bullshit. Did I get that right? This must be somewhere near right, so that's fine. I can cope with that. Yeah, we know it's only so they can rake in the cash from that music creator. I can't, I'm not going to call him a music sensation because he's a fucking wanker. To be honest, if we're all honest. But looking, the torso, the picture was only the torso upwards. It looked like it had a six pack from a male on the lower half of the torso. But as soon as you got to about halfway up the torso, there were fucking tits. They looked like fucking tits. I mean, flat chested tits, but they were tits. 
I'd reckon about apples, maybe oranges. You'd be pushing it on if you said pears, but I mean, come on. Describing pears as tits, come on, that's just like soggy. That's like, just like five month old soggy football socks with a bit of sand at the bottom, if we're honest. But anyway, moving on from describing tits, we're back onto the Justin Bieber sex doll. And that's. I can't, yeah, I can't tell whether it's a female or male. But it's got the face of a female. The face is femaleism. Femaleism? I'm going to get all the femi- feminism, the feminists after me. I can't speak for shit today, but I'm still, we'll still record it anyway. It can't be that bad. Yeah. And I am, um, yeah, it looks like a female, but it's got a sort of gay boy haircut. Like, I suppose like Justin Bieber in many ways, really. But I suppose in a way, it's actually better than Justin Bieber the sex doll. Because it doesn't have the fucking brain that goes with it, that's for sure. But, I'm guessing it has a detachable, well it's got a detachable cock. So, the whole thing costs a thousand. I'm guessing the big black dick is going to cost a lot more than your Catholic priest's two inch dick. And then I'm going to guess there's one in the middle. But, hey ho doesn't have the brain of the hum like the human so it's got to be fucking bare but honestly but i have given this crap way too much time which is just like yeah that's kind of embarrassing now i've been go- i don't even know i don't know how to tell the time it's so fucking weird but yeah so what else is there to go on about well oh fuck oh what Oh shit, what was it? What was it? What was it? What the fuck was it? Uh crap, 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 crap. I'm fucking bored of saying that now. Uh I was walking through one of them places. Uh you buy stuff from it. Oh fuck. Yeah, they normally refer them to as a shop or as or for our Yankee listeners, a supermarket. Oh Okay, that was embarrassing for me as a um, as a non-American trying to pull off a fake American accent. I can do Australian, mate, but I can't fucking do American. <laughs> that was just bad on so many halves. That was sh- so shit. But I was walking through one of them shoppy places, and there was this guy with one of the massive stretchy things in his ear. It was so weird, but I was so fascinated at it. I, at the same time, I just don't know. I I, I reckon. My Samsung, Samsung? I have an iPhone, bitch. I reckon I could have put my iPhone through his ear. It was like, I want to go over and ask you, can I shove my eye, can I put my phone through your ear? And then his wife, or his mother, started looking at me as to say, don't you come over here, you're looking at us and it is so weird. I was just like, uh, um, I was a pussy, okay, I backed off. I said, I, look, I thought, no, I am not going to do this, but I really wanted to see if my phone could fit through his ear, because I thought, I reckon it could. You could definitely get a small thing through his ear, like a computer mouse. That definitely would have fitted through. Fitted. Fitted through. Fitted. It definitely would have fit through. No doubt about it. Oh, God, I was... So, I wanted to... I want to ask. I really, really wanted to ask. I reckon it... Yeah, that would have been weird, actually, just going over and asking someone, Hey, can I put my phone through your ear? <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be weird at all. I know for a fact that wouldn't... I don't know for a fact. I know nothing for a fact. People actually think I have a brain. Wow, that's bad. So, what else happened? Well, my laptop has a ghost in it. I'm coming to terms with that, I think. Yeah. It's decided to go on to Google or somewhere and downloaded something called Oprah Browse. I'm actually terrified to open it though, pure and simply, because I reckon all I'm going to get is shit on the Oprah Winfrey show. Oprah Winfrey? Yeah, Oprah Winfrey. Free? 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 Oprah Winfrey. That sounds so weird to say. I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible. I actually really want to go and open it just to see what actually happens. So, yeah, but it's now decided to pin itself to my task far, task fart, my task bar, and it won't unpin, so, ah, oh, fuck it, sakes, in a pin, ah, oh, fuck this shit, 
Ah, f- I don't actually know what that note meant. I'm guessing it was something to do with the Oprah Winfrey show. But it's just like, it won't fucking unpin and I want to suppress it, but I don't. Maybe if I open it. Let's go and open it and see what happens. I bet this will be ace. I bet it's going to work. I bet it's going to be amazing. Holy shit, it does open images of images. Imi- yeah, images and snippets and shit of Oprah Winfrey. Holy shit. That's just kind of scary. So, Oprah Winfrey has her own browser software that only has shit to do with her. Okay, right, so now we've got some questions for the podcast thing. Okay then, that's that done. Did you like them questions? Because I sure did. So, it appears, it has come to my attention, it appears, it has come to my attention, it appears, holy shit, I'm just on repeat, I'm like a fucking broken record. Okay, I'm bored of that now. <laughs> that went on for quite a while. <laughs> Didn't know I could hold it that long. It's like, la 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 la. Yeah. It seems like everybody in here is a fucking retard. Okay? Everybody who uses YouTube has got to be reminded at the end of every video to like and subscribe. Well, yeah. Okay. So, remember to like and subscribe, people. You remember that because also go and hit that little bell, the lighthouse, the foghorn. You gotta click on them just so you get everything coming through. And I can now control your life, your credit cards, your debit cards, your car, all from home. So let's do this. I think this is gonna be quite a short one, even though it's actually had shit to talk about, which is kind of cool. And I have also had. To, I'm fucking pissed. Okay, I had a job interview for the other day, but. Okay, we're back into it, I guess. Uh, I had a job interview for the other day. I found out two fucking hours before I was due in for said interview that they cancelled it. I mean, the job hasn't gone, which is great news, but I'm still kind of pissed, really, that, well, they have taken my interview away from me because I'm a fat ass and, yeah. I'm pissed off. I don't like wearing suits as it is because they're fucking uncomfortable. I'm more of the... Oh, fucking hell, the shoes were horrible as well. I mean, I'm used to wearing my Nike Air Maxes and my Adidases and my other shit. I just wear Adidases, Nikes, my Nike Air Max Zeros and... Walk, and Carry More. Carry Me. Carry Me? Carry Mori. Carry More. My carry more hiking boots, which do for walking dogs and shit. So it doesn't really matter if you get dog shit on them. But let's move on from that. Uh, I'm not really too bothered, no. But when I went to put my shoes on, it was like walking on sandpaper. It was like, ugh, this is so bad. It hurts like hell. Please, it hurts me. I don't like it. I fucking hated it. It was something like, I don't even know how to describe it. It was just horrible. And it's just like, that's when it hit me that I wear my, sn- for, again for our American listeners, uh, it hit me and I thought, holy shit, I'm wearing my sneakers away too much, I need to start wearing proper shoes, because, you know, I'm going to be working in a hotel or some shit, did you like my, oh, I think that went fucking better than last time, with the supermarkets, okay, I can't say supermarkets in Americanism, is that a bad thing or a good thing? It means I'm not getting corrupted by the amount of shit that's American I watch. Like The Simpsons. Even that was bad. Holy shit. Am I just a bad human being? Yeah, I'm probably a bad human being. I mean, I'm going to hell anyway for what I've said on this podcast in the past. Da, 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 da. Can I do this? Did you hear that? Let me just Let's just let the mic drop for two seconds. Mike won't drop between left 15 and right 42, so, okay, let's let it drop to them numbers. It worked, it picked it up. There was two spikes in the sound. I'm actually just playing around with my computer, but I'm at, if I keep hitting it like I am, I'm probably going to break it. So, let's try on the table. Again, I... 
No, it just makes the whole table shake, and it's actually giving me a sore hand, so that's probably not a wise idea. So, yeah, remember, have you liked, subscribed, pressed the bell, the lighthouse, the foghorn, and I will see you next time. And we did all of that bullshit without talking about net neutral elf oh, okay so i am back i know i have just said goodbye but actually th as soon as i put the mic <coughs> turned the mic and everything off everything went interesting so what actually happened was this random dickhead decided to call me from whatever company i might no i'm not going to tell you the phone number because that will be evil so i decided to play along with it and i actually recorded what happened so let's go and roll the tape people of the world can you just please repeat the question? Yes, sir? Can you please repeat the question? Hello? 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 Your, your, your name is Mr. Lechenberg, is that correct, sir? Yes, it is. Alright, and last one question, sir, like based on your answer, was the trusted partner, third party clients, my competitive at the premium promotion market services. At the end of the call, sir, you will have recorded message providing more details about the partners. Like, sir, what, please indicate in which age that you do you fall. Like, how old are you? Like, are you in 20s, 30s, or 40s? Which one, sir? I'm 128. Hello? 1, 2, 8. Hello? Hello? Like, yeah, how old are you, sir? Like, are you in 20s or 30s or 40s? Which one, sir? 80s. I can't hear uh, you. Like, sir, hello, you can hear me right now, sir? I need to put hello? me hearing aid in. Uh, it means the age bracket is 20, 20 to 24, right, sir? No! 29. I'm 87 years old! 87? Yes! <laughs> okay then, that was interesting. This random number just called me up, so I just decided to play along with it, see what he said. He was asking... You've just heard the whole conversation. He doesn't actually know this is going on YouTube, but hush, hush. Well, he, I did mention it when he first called, and he was like, fine, sure, whatever. And then I just, like, loaded all my software up, and it's just like, this will make great podcast material, even though I've already said goodbye on the podcast, so we'll do all that over again in a minute. But, yeah, so this random number called me up, so I decided, yeah, fuck it, let's play along with whatever he's got to go. So he asked me what my age is, and he turned around and said, the, he didn't hear me at first, so I was like, right, let's play the old geezer trick, and we'll go with my age being, I said yes to all his questions, and I said, my age is 70, I don't even know, you've just heard what age I said, and I can't believe he didn't realise I was pulling his leg, he's such a fucking idiot, but anyway, by the by the, uh, that was, uh, some random call centre guy calling me up. That's the second time he's called me today as well. But he's a fucking retard, mate. It's unbloody real. Right. I'll put this in somewhere in the podcast, probably after all the credits and shit, and then, yeah, keep listening. Hello. This is five seconds into the future, me, so take care, have a good one, like, subscribe, hit the fog horn, hit the lighthouse, and hit the bell, and then you will get everything you need. Plus... Your very own Jewish slave. How about that? Woo! Jewish slaves for life! Oh, shit. I'm not going to cock any... Ah, fuck it. What's the worst that can happen? Catch you later, cunts.